In this video, I'm going to mock up a few different frame and seating options to turn this old BMW into this bobber setup and also this brat style to see which direction to take this build. Then I'm going to get the grinder out and I'm going to chop this frame up. So let's get started. Hi there, YouTube. My name's Marcus and welcome to Montmoto. You may have seen the previous videos on how I got to this point, but as a quick recap, I bought a 1979 BMW R80-7 motorcycle. I'm gonna break it down into each individual nut and bolt and rebuild it into my ideal custom motorcycle. This week I'm gonna be focused on one key decision. Am I building a Cathay racer, Brat style or Bobber motorcycle? This is one of the most important decisions to make on this build as so many design decisions are impacted by it. So to make sure that I'm starting this build on the right path, I'm gonna mock up just how these might look with a couple of scenarios before I commit to one. And while I do it, I'm gonna talk a bit about each of the motorcycle styles. As always, the different sections are in the timestamp below. We've all likely heard of cafe racers these days as they have become very popular again in the last 10 years. The cafe racer craze started in London in the 1960s and was particularly associated with urban rockers. At the core of this movement, production motorcycles were modified by their owners to make them faster over short distance, so their owners could race each other from cafe to cafe, hence the name. This typically involved removing any weight where possible and stripping the bikes down to bare essentials. Mud guards, side panels, fairing and fenders were all fair game and were discarded. Another typical characteristic, in order for the rider to get low for aerodynamics, is clip on handlebars. But for me in this build, I think the cafe racer style is a little bit overdone and I'm gonna focus in on the bobber and brat style. First, let's get the original frame and subframe set up to see what we've got. I'm just gonna put the frame up here on a stand and just temporarily hold it in place. This is only just to get a real feel of what this will look like. Right here I've got a Cognito motor triple clamp that I'm using and that lets me put GSXR uh, forks on this bike. I'll be doing a video on that later on. Just look at how far back the seat on this subframe goes. The general rule for cafe racers is that the seat should not extend beyond the rear wheel axle. But this isn't the setup that we're exploring here so let's first take a mock-up of the bobber style custom and I'll talk to you a bit about the history of this genre motorcycle. The bobber style custom motorcycle first came to be in the US in the 1930s and is the grandfather of the modern day chopper. Originally based on production Harley Davidson motorcycles, the goal was to reduce weight by any means possible, including removing front fenders, shortening the rear, and removing any side panels or panniers that it might have. Stylistically, the seat tube was lowered or removed entirely. Uh, it often didn't have any rear suspension and they became known as hardtails. I've owned a few choppers in my time, and while they're beautiful bikes, and there is a place for them in, in anyone's garage, but I, you know, with the hardtail and having no suspension, that's just not the kind of comfort I need from a ride these days. So I bought this bobber seat on sale a couple of years ago on eBay. Uh, it's made by Mother Road uh, 66 Customs. I'll try to add a link in the description below. So I decided to create a mock-up using some PVC pipe. I wanted to be able to see what this looked like actually on the bike. I marked out where the screws were on the seat and drilled a couple of holes in the PVC pipe so that I could fit it on the bottom. I love the colour of the leather of this seat but to be honest I didn't think it would work with this build but now that I see it mocked up I have to say that I absolutely love it. It looks mean and it really fits the look that I'm going for. Many derivatives of the Cafe Racer have evolved since its origins in the 1960s, but in my opinion, one of the most interesting branches is the Japanese Brat Style influence. Brat Style is actually a motorcycle modification shop opened in Tokyo in 1993, and it became world famous not only for a specific style, but to some degree a way of life. Sometimes referred to as the Japanese bobber in terms of the design, you can probably summarize the Brat style as a crossover between bobber and scrambler motorcycle. Similar to the Cafe Racer, Brat style motorcycles are designed for the urban environment with emphasis placed on minimalism and function over form, which in itself creates a form that's incredible. Typically Brat style means slab seating, dirt handlebars, wrapped pipes, knobby tires. They're aggressive and mean, and exactly what I'm looking for in this build. So let's get this mocked up. What I'm using here is a frame from Cognito Motor that I bought online. It's a brat frame they do specifically for these BMW R80s. 
One of the things I really love about it is the integrated LED panel slot on the back that they've cut in. So now that you've seen both options, what direction would you take this build? Would you go with the bobber seat with little to no rear suspension hovering above the wheel? Or would you go for the Japanese style brat with bench seat and mongrel looks? I stuck it up on Instagram and it seems more people like the bobber than the brat. So let's get started on it by cutting down the frame. Next week I'll be working on the carbs to clean them up and to buy me time to get the frame and rims in to get powder coated. So if you'd like to follow along on this project, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Good luck.